Welcome to Dixie 5 training lesson 1. Uh, in this video, we will learn the some basic and uh, very interesting things about Dixie 5. Many people were asking about uh, the training session for the Dixie 5. So I started the first session. After that, I will continue to make another sessions. So the people who want to learn Dixie 5, Siemens, C product 5 devices, how to work with C product 5 devices, this lesson is very important. So the first point is to open the Dixie 5. Dixie 5 shortcut is available at the desktop. If you don't have available the shortcut, you can create shortcut and place at the desktop. Otherwise, we have option to search here. From the search option, we will write Dixie. So both Dixie 5 and Dixie 4 appear here. So we need Dixie 5. We will open this. It will take a while to open. So it's open now. Now the point is we need to see which version we have installed, which version we are going to work. There are three ways to see which version is installed. If we search here, we, we can see here Dixie 5 version 9.7. Okay, or if we have a shortcut available at desktop here also, version 9.7. Otherwise, after opening, we can see at the upper left corner Dixie 5 version 9.7. So any version which you are using would be appear here. Another thing we need to see, our Dixie is premier or compact. So it's available here at the right corner. So I have Dixie 5 premium, premium version. Which version you have will appear here. Also, when you open the Dixie 5, if you have a compact version, it will ask to which version will it will open, compact or uh, premium. Uh, for premium is uh, available free for one month on trial basis. Now we will see in Dixie 5 how to create a new project. Here we have project, we can make new, otherwise a shortcut key, shortcut uh, icon is available. This one, if we click on this, our create new project window will appear so we will give it project name Dixie 5 training you can give any name according to your choice and after that there is a path available by default Dixie 5 will use this path the automation okay the directory where the Dixie 5 is installed is C, so it's taking this path automatically. Otherwise, a user defined path we can also select. By clicking on this, we can select any folder, any drive where we want to save this, our new project. So I will cancel. I will keep uh, file in same folder. So this is the author. You can uh, give, for example, name. Okay, after that we will click on create. So it's taking a little bit to create this new project. Okay, the new project is now created uh, with the name Dixie 5 training. The name would appear here. Now we will see how to add the device in our this project this project is uh, at the instant is empty no device is available because we created new project to add the new offline device we have this option add new device we will double click this a new device window will appear here there is a step one select device type we have to enter the short product code 
or long product code or MLFB. This is available at the relay and also inside the relay. So we can take it from the relay. For example, in this case, we are using 7SL86 line differential relay, which have the product code P1C456766. This is the short product code of the device. We will click verify. Okay. After the clicking the verify, uh, these three options appear. Actually, these are the application templates. The application we are using is 7SL86. So 7SL86, there are three templates available. Basic, Differential, Distance, RMD, Overhead Line, Solid Ground, Neutral Point. And the third one is Differential, Distance, Reactance Method. Over line, overhead line 1.5 CB. So these three versions are available. We need to select according to our uh, requirement. So I will try to add all these uh, three versions and I will try to explain the difference between these three and which version we should uh, uh, select. Here, one more thing important. Here, configuration versions will appear against each template. If we click on this arrow, here also appear 9.4. So, actually, what is this? How these are appearing? This is actually the versions which we have installed in our Dixie 5. So, all installed version will appear here. For example, if we have also installed 9.71, it will also it would also be appear here okay so in this case i have only 9.5 and 9.4 installed in my dixie 5 so that's why these two are only showing here so we have to we have to select uh, uh, one of them as per our requirement okay now uh, which uh, now the configuration which we want to add we should click this for example if we want to add basic we should click on only basic, not here. So first we will add basic. We will click uh, OK. For example, we will add 9.4. There is one other option available, open hardware and protocol after device creation. So we will also click this. Uh, after the device will be added, its hardware will be also open to show us. We will click, click OK and uh, we'll see how our device will be added to the Dixie 5. So it's adding now. After adding this, I will show you what's inside this basic version and uh, which version, which template we should uh, insert. This is actually the 7SL86 relay. This is the line differential relay. So the line differential relay, uh, the line could be from the single bus bar or from the one and a half breaker scheme. So the basic version is now added. So its hardware is also showing to us because I click at uh, open the hardware and protocol after device creation. So now we can see this is the basic version. In the set in the settings in the line one general process monitor only this over current and VT fail settings are available. No other uh, function blocks are available. No other function groups are available because we added the only basic. So this is of no use. In this, we have to add manually the function groups and function blocks. This is uh, uh, only two functions. Now uh, I will uh, show you. I will add another template uh, which will contain complete differential distance everything. So I will add new device. Same code P1C456476 will verify. Same version will appear. So now instead of uh, clicking at basic, I will click here. It's very important to click on the desired template when to add. Otherwise, 
the wrong template will be added okay i will do okay and i will show you what's the difference in this template so these templates are ready made by the siemens uh, we can insert directly if you have any other device there's different templates available it will be appear here as i have it shown to you now it's importing our the second template of the 7sl 86 now i added the second device and the dixie 5 automatically named it 7sl 86 underscore one because this name already exists so the next name dixie 5 will give automatically also by clicking on this we can also rename this device okay now i will show you in this device what's the difference this this is this both are same device but different templates so i will show you what's the difference actually it is so you can see many settings are available in this but in basic only 50 51 over current was available and vt phase failure but in this 87 line differential 21 line distance and this permissive schemes and the direction earth fault switch on to fault and we can feed under frequency or frequency everything is available so this is the difference between basic and the other version now i will show you a one and a half uh, breaker scheme if we have one and a half breaker scheme and we are going to install our device there so we need to click on the third template i will show you So this is for one and a half breaker scheme. We will add this third template. You can see our next device, device number three is added 7 sl 86 underscore two. It has, it contains some errors. This cross mean errors. We will see this error in the next sessions. I will not focus on the errors in this session. The basic thing is to show you the difference of one and a half breaker scheme uh, with the second template. So we will go into settings. Here you can see we have line one. Okay. But we have two circuit breakers circuit breaker one and circuit breaker two. As in one and a half breaker scheme, the line is uh, connected with the two circuit breakers that's why this uh, this templates are automatically incorporating the two cbs so this template uh, is usable and for one and a half breaker scheme so if we see the second device it's for single breaker scheme we can see here only one circuit breaker are available so this is the difference between the basic and the other versions uh, you can see the naming 700 SL86, 700 SL86 underscore 1 and underscore 2. How can we save our project? The project we have already created Dixie 5 training. Okay. And the path we have already selected. Now to save, we can simply uh, do control plus S. Otherwise, we have this option save project. When we will click on this save project, our project will be uh, saved oh, it now it is saved and it will be black and white okay uh, up to now i created a new project i created new project now i will show you how to open how to open the existing project okay for opening the project i will go to project open otherwise this short icon is available open project we will click on here okay uh, the existing project will appear at the default directory if uh, we have saved our project uh, at someone uh, else place we can browse and we can go to the specific path and we can select the uh, all supported files are available for example these are all supported files to open the project so i will cancel this by this way we can open I hope you like this uh, training session of the Dixie 5 how to create a new project how to what uh, what is the difference between different templates of that available application and how to save the project and how to open the project how to uh, how to see the versions which version is installed how to see its premium or its 
uh, compact so if you like please uh, subscribe the channel so that the, our next training session video will appear to you at time thank you goodbye